Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today I've got basically a bunch of crap that I really wanted to show you guys because I'm on my Instagram a lot, right? And as I'm scrolling through my feed, ding ding ding, every now and then I get a little sponsored post and me being me, I click on these adverts and I always end up buying whatever it is they're trying to sell me. Who has noticed that when you're having conversations at home with family and friends and things like that, as soon as you go on your phone, once you've had that conversation, there's an advert for whatever it is you guys were talking about. Because our phones listen to us. Everything I've bought is stuff that I thought I needed. And so I tested it out for you guys to see if I really did need it or not. Yeah! Morning guys, so today is a beautiful day and we're off out and I thought I would take with me this to try, okay? This is what we're trying today and it's the glue pad. Holds up to five pounds and apparently it's reusable. So once you're done with it, you take it off, I believe you wash it and you use it again. So this is what it looks like. By the way, there's loads in the packet. I've stuck one side up onto my car window and now I'm gonna peel this bit and try and stick the camera on it. See how well it does. Ready, guys? Hello. That's Hannah's foot. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna take that off now. Oh, it's very jelly-like. Hold on. Does the camera weigh more than five pounds? Oh. I think the camera might be a bit heavy for it. So I'm gonna now try it with my phone. Oh, this is so sticky, guys. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna go higher now so we can get a better angle. Okay, guys, hi. Wow, this is so good, Sid. This is so handy for us. This definitely feels way more secure than uh, the camera because obviously the camera was, is a lot heavier than phone. I've put the kind of plastic covers back on each side, but as you can see, there's fingerprints and like marks all over it. So I am going to wash it later and then try it again on a different surface. But I'll try it on a wall because um, there's walls everywhere and sometimes I really just want to mount my camera on a wall. Right, we're home. I thought I would uh, try it on the wall. FYI, I know I said I've washed it, but I haven't. I thought, let me just try it anyway. You can't always have to wash it, you know? Because then you have to wait for it to dry, so. See how it does with the wall. It's still very, very sticky. Oh, look, there's a cat. <laughs> it's fully working. This is amazing. Let's just do a quick self timer situation. Sorted. Oh, hold on, let's take it off. Oh. Gonna do anything to the wall? Nope. Oh my god, look how much it stretches. It looks like it's gonna rip, but it doesn't. <sighs> okay, let me just try the wooden door. But wood is porous. Oh no, it's not. Right, so let me get me phone again. You know, I could mount something else. I could mount Joe Malone perfume. Should we try mounting a Joe Malone perfume? Tusi, you're gonna love this. Oh my god, Tusi, look at this. You can mount things. But this suit, wow, that is sick. Well impressed I am, well impressed. Update, I have washed the thing. I mean, to the best of my ability. I literally washed it like I washed dishes, so I scrubbed it with a, with a bit of fairy. Still very sticky. Um, it dries very quickly by itself. I was gonna get a tea towel, but I don't feel like I need to. I literally went to get the camera and it's almost dried. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it for you guys. I'm just gonna mount something on the fridge for the rest of the morning just to see how long it might hold something on there for. Sure you might one of the kids. Obviously not. Probably me. <laughs> oh yeah, mount that. But you're gonna use it for coffee, aren't you? Yeah, I know. No, one second. Oh my god. <laughs> you just really wanted to do that, didn't you? No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, make it nice and flat again. I can't. Because it's sticky. What do you mean? It should be sticky on this side too. <gasps> Have you broken it? Have I broken a piece of gel? That's not okay, stick, right, guys. Sid is intrigued to uh, test this sticky pad out a little bit more. So he's going to do a bit of stacking. Salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Whoa, this is well cool. This is like Jenga. This is like fridge Jenga. No, it's not. That's gonna fall. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah. where's the coffee? Oh, just on the fridge. <laughs> Another update, guys. My Pixie Woo makeup brush box is still firmly stuck on the fridge, and it has been three hours, I believe. Almost three hours, yes. Good morning, guys. There's a little update. It's been a whole day and night. 
this is still firmly on, so I think it's safe to say you could use it as a fridge mount slash magnet. Ouch! This cost $25.99, I believe, and inside is about 10. Right, the next thing I saw on my Instagram ads, so I must have been talking to somebody or looking at something online on Amazon maybe, um, that would help my washing washing up the dishes process a lot. Would, would help that process. Um, and then these came up. Yeah! So there's just literally one dish in the sink right now, so I think I might try it. They're a bit difficult to like, uh, you know, bend. <laughs> Could look a bit mingy. Let's get some, uh... oh, it's got thick. Oh, yeah, you really washed the dishes, didn't you? Oh, shit. Those these gloves, man. Oh my god, I'm not supposed to use this. Duh. What are you supposed That's to That's the whole point. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I bet you that these gloves would be great in the shower. Oh, on your body, yes. The only thing is, with I was that joking. is when I'm rinsing. I was joking. When I'm rinsing, it washes the washing up liquid off my gloves. That's the only problem with that. Wow, this is actually well sick. This is actually so good, you'd never have to... Oh shit. What are you doing? It's so snippy. Because... It only half works because once you're done cleaning the dishes, um, although very successfully cleaned, it almost always slips out of my hand and I almost smashed a crap ton of my dishes. So that kind of defeats the purpose because you've got clean but broken dishes, so that's a bit shit. I think these were about, I think, yeah, these were 19.99. By the way, everything I've bought took about three weeks to get in. Yeah! So the advert for this was very captivating. Get ready for cleaner teeth, brighter smiles. It's basically a 360 degree toothbrush with cold light whitening. This is what we have, it really is 360. So it's vibrating like crazy. I don't see how that's gonna brush my teeth if the bristles themselves aren't actually moving. But let's give it a go, shall we? Oh, if you press it twice, it goes super fast. I'm gonna just put it in. All right, let's give this a go. This is a low setting. What? It just died all of a sudden. Charging? Huh? Maybe it needs charging a bit longer, but I swear to God it was working properly a minute ago. I'm gonna charge it and I'll be back. Okay, so underneath the packaging, silly me, looks like there's a whole charging station. So this is what I plug in, and I think this just stands on here, like so. And then I plug this in, so it's not as terrible as we thought. Right, let's plug this in. This is probably the biggest flop out of everything I've bought because not only is it already broken, but the bristles don't actually move. The whole thing just vibrates, so like there's no actual movement with the bristles. It's just vibrating, so like I don't see how it's doing any brushing whatsoever, so I think the advertising for that was slightly misleading. Couldn't test it properly to see if it was whitening for you guys because once I put it in the charger that it came with, which is this, very flimsy. Can you, can you feel the flimsiness? It's... Stop you? hitting me! I'm hitting Get you! Out Look at this! Look at this! Like, this is actual piece of shit. This costs probably like $40. It's not doing anything. It's actually a piece of shit. Right, next up guys, we have this. Very strange looking cushion. Um, so this is a baby support seat. These two holes are where the baby's legs go. And these two holes over here are where you can attach some toys. Yeah! It literally arrived like this. I in was sitting in yeah, you were in a clear package. So, shall we try Mika in it? Because you're big, Hannah. You can already sit, can't you? No, I can't already. <laughs> okay, let's try Mika in this. So, stick, stick the legs in. So, FYI, Mika can kind of sit up himself anyway. Oh, God, Hannah, is that nail polish? Oh, God. Here we go, Mix. How's your little support system going? Let try and grab the camera. What do you think? Is that comfy? That's quite good, isn't it, Meeks? But I can imagine if he fell over, that would also be... He can't a... fall over. Can he not fall over? Wait, wobble him around a bit. Yeah, he can. He can. Oh, wow, very difficult. Well, guys, this is actually really cool, because when Mika sits alone, I have to put cushions around him and worry about him falling over. But the... well, I wonder if he... Could, he... could he fall over if he reached? Oh, wow. Did he just reach over for it? Come on, Meeks, get some more. That's actually really good. Um, I, I, I think that's a good one. Come on, reach over for that. Let's see. Oh, that's that is, really isn't it? One. Oh, this is not that bad. My tail changed colours. 
Your tail changes colours. Wow, that's like magic. Whoa. I'm a magic mermaid. You're a magic mermaid. Wow. Wow. Ice creams? Yeah, you can get one if you like. Oh, thank There's you. A mermaid shop, free mermaid shop that you can borrow mermaid. ice cream from. I can borrow the ice cream? Yeah. When do I give it back? Once I've eaten it? Yeah, you got to... <laughs> no, you don't give it back. Oh, so I have to buy it from you then. Mika, are you still in your chair, buddy? Yeah. Update, guys. Yeah. Mika's been in this for half an hour and still very happy chappy. The first time we tried it, I think he stayed in it for about 45 minutes to an hour, sitting up and happily playing. So that is excellent because if he's in a happy mood, it means I've got 45 minutes to an hour to get something done while he's playing. Um, so this actually has been very successful. I'm not sure how much longer we have until his legs will not fit in here. And then I'm not sure what we'll be able to do with it. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. The last thing I bought is this jacket. I literally saw it pop up as an advert on my feed. Probably about 10. Yeah, I'm not even exaggerating. Probably about 10 times before I actually caved in and bought it and thought, you know what, let's just see what this looks like because the picture is amazing. I'll show you what it looks like in the advert right here. To be honest with you, I don't know what this fabric is. It's not great, but it's not terrible because it does keep the shape. I don't really feel ripped off because it was very cheap and I know that the photo that they used is obviously a photo of a really nice expensive designer jacket, so I wasn't silly enough to think I was going to get that one. Not that bad, like I actually will wear it. Like I'm a I actually wore it in today's outfit, but also to test it out for you guys and I, I will actually keep it on. I don't know how comfortable it will be when it gets really hot, but for spring, I think it's all right. Like when I walked into the office today, Big Hannah was like, oh, I like your jacket, weren't you, Hannah? Yes. She did, she said, oh, I like your jacket. And I was like, well, it's one of those Instagram made me buy it situations. So I was pleasantly surprised with this jacket. Thumbs up. So basically guys, one, two, three, four. We bought five things. Out of those five things, four, so four out of those five things were actually quite successful. No, let's say three and a half, because the gloves are like, what does that teach me, guys? That teaches me to carry on shopping. They're the five things I bought. I don't know if I'll carry on shopping on Instagram, most likely. Um, if I come across anything half decent, I'll make sure to show you again. I would say I'd link everything for you, but I genuinely don't know where I got any of these things from other than my Instagram feed. But after you watch this video, I bet you it pops up on your Instagram or, your, or, your, or on the side of your Facebook too because um, the internet is magic like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Till next time, bye!